Good afternoon, everyone. T-Speaker 222XRP Future Millionaire with the sideband on x and Future Digibyte OG. So I want to do a quick update real quick on our breaking, uh, our breakout watch, Solano. Solano seems to have a little bit of steam here. So we're going to see what happens here. It's on a very bullish trend, in my opinion. Like I've been saying, we had this technical, I don't want to call it a bullish cross, but in the short term, it kind of was. And it broke to the upside of it pretty, uh, pretty impressive. We, but now we got to see if it can push to the next level. That's what I would like to see. I would like to see a break up to $80. And if we can break $80, it's very important. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Why don't we take a moment now and hit that like button or dislike button. As I can still see in the comments, I'm very hated. And my videos are very misinterpreted. And also YouTubers unanimously hate my channel. So hit that dislike button if you agree with them because obviously you don't like the accuracy. If you want to see my Swing Traders Anonymous, we're seven days in now. That's my second YouTube channel for Swing Trades. We're up to 370 subscribers in six days, which is crazy. If you want to join my Twitter, which is the easiest way to get around not knowing when I go and put out a video because YouTube does a terrible job even if you turn that bell notification to all, which you should. Joining my Twitter is the easiest way to get around it. I started a week ago, up to 200 followers, and you'll be able to see instantly when I put an update out on YouTube. So no more complaining, just simply follow me on YouTube. So with Solana, like I was saying, and don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That's the most important thing. Hit that subscribe button. 82.8% .8 of you hit the subscribe button, but 12.2% .2 of you that watch my content do not hit the subscribe button. The simplest and most effective thing you can do to help me is hit that subscribe button. So with Solano, like we've been saying, it's on a breakout watch and it's starting to break out. We got this doozy of an M forming in the one minute, but it doesn't seem to be too uh, catastrophic in the formation. We're going to see what happens, though, but like I said, every reason why I showed you yesterday, why I thought it was going to break up and retest $80 at least, is right here. And the crucial part is, if we break that $80.31 roughly, or I'll just say $81, but if we break where I put that with some kind of volume or some kind of pressure, this is going to have a major run up because it's in discovery. It'll be an all time highs for a second time and it held consolidation, which usually means a big bear for a run. And if you look at it, I think, like I said yesterday, this is the left shoulder and it's got to come way up and create a head. I could be completely wrong, but you know, that's what I, I'm playing it that this is a massive left shoulder. Because like I stated yesterday when I first brought, or yeah, yeah, yesterday when I first brought this up, but I've been saying this about Solano, but when I first brought it up to buy, okay, you can see it, I circled it, see? So that's the massive consolidation where I said, think of the hip, right? Think of your feet coming up the hip, and then you got your actual hip right there coming up to the shoulders, right? Then you got the shoulder blade. Where's the head? I think the head's going to be somewhere over there. And if I'm right, with that massive consolidation, if that's a continuation pattern, this is going to be a big move. It's going to be a big move. And it's starting right now. Like I said, I'm up about 10 Well, not, not quite 10% since I bought it. Bought it at $70.83, so it's been a healthy move so far. This guy has $6 a share, but this isn't what I was buying it for. If it dies here, this isn't wouldn't have been worth it to me, a few hundred bucks, because I would have rather just sat and, you know, waited for a better opportunity. But what I'm looking at, this did exactly what I needed to do, and I know this is an extended look at Solano, but I know a lot of you are in it, so this is exactly my logic, so we're going to see what happens. Like I said, my stop loss was $70, or er, yes, uh, $68 at the bottom side was my stop loss. Now you can do your stop loss at like 72 bucks because you don't want it to break back down into the wedge. 
you know, if you wanted to bring it up, if you're in profit, you bring it down to $73, but that's risky. You don't want to really cash yourself out unless it breaks back down through the wedge, which I'd say $73 would be a fair stop loss right now if you're looking to stay in the profit. With the understanding that it could consolidate like all these do real far before it makes the next breakout. If it even makes another breakout, this could be it. This could be that the pattern could be done. You know, that could be everything. So, but like I said, we're looking for one more push up. You got to make an educated decision. I'm not selling it yet. I think it's going to at least come up to $80 and 31 cents in my opinion. So I don't see any reason to sell it. Plus, where the M's at, it makes no sense in the pattern because of the way it's going up. So, it's still got layers to go, I think. So, I can only give my best educated and informed reasoning and analytics. XRP in the 30. It's, an, it's on a big formation right now. And to me, well, this is an XRP, but we got to check Bitcoin first. But Bitcoin... But XRP, when we go, I think Bitcoin, like I said, I've been saying it every day. Even when it was down at 44,200, I said, I don't think it's done. I think we have to go to 50,000. But do we run over? I don't know. Do we even get up there? That's another good question because we always get stopped. It's seemingly around. We broke out a little bit, though, and that's what I was saying with Bitcoin. It's the same thing I was saying with our other one. That couldn't be the head, so Bitcoin has to break out to a head, and that's what it apparently looks like it's doing. So if this breaks out to 50 or 52, what does that do for Solano, which would be an all-time high territory? It would be an all-time highs at that point. It can make it go, out the, it can make it go crazy before, before a huge correction. Because if you've seen Solano at like $100 or $115, it's going to crack back down probably past where we're at right now. That's the bitch of this market. The other bitch is it may never, ever get there. So Bitcoin, I expect it to continue the uptrend up until the weekend. It'll be an interesting weekend, though. We could have a bloodbath over the weekend. If this plays out tonight, right when the futures close and we have a big spike at 8 o'clock, it could definitely be, a, it'd be interesting when it comes to the overnight hours and into tomorrow. But right now, just ride the momentum. Everybody who's asked me if they should sell, I'm no. Not my, I mean, now it's up to you, but all day yesterday night and this morning, everybody's asked me if they should sell, and I kept saying no, because XRP looks like it wants to come up to the local top and at least double top at $1.35. I haven't changed that. I've had the drawing out, and for people to make me look bad in the comments, it's pretty pathetic, because I literally haven't drawn out what I think is going to happen when it was at $1.05. In fact, I called out the dollar five and said you'd be greedy to wait for a dollar. It was possible, but it was a huge pull down to a dollar. Dollar five made sense. Called it perfectly. T speak at 222 XRP Future Millionaire with a side bet on X Summon Future Digibud OG. For all of you that always ask the same question and want me to go out of my way to do stuff, join Tom's Army. If you're a member of Tom's Army and you ask me something, it gets my attention quicker. If you just ask me a bunch of stuff saying, can you do this, can you do that, not even caring what I'm doing during the day, well, it's not going to get my attention. So keep that in mind. Join my Twitter. Check my Swing Traders Anonymous. Both those links are in the description. That's my YouTube page, and obviously the other one's my Twitter. Until next time, if you want to donate, that link is in the description as well. Stay true, stay blessed. Pay attention to my videos completely and not just the headline.